Good morning, Miss Dora. Good morning, teacher. The usual? Sure. Four donuts and a cup of coffee. Nice. <laughs> Don't you ever want anything else for breakfast, Andy? Uh -uh. Not so long as they're your donuts. Flatter. I think you like to pay me compliments. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Peppa New Teacher. It's after 9 o'clock. Wait till I ring the bell. I'll make him hurry. Dora, you know, you'd make a fine wife for some man. Do you think so? Oh, sure. I'm sure you would. Did you ever think of uh, getting married? Well, yes. Uh, you have, huh? Oh, yes. But the right man never asked me. He didn't, huh? No. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm late for school. Hurry, it's the first time in 20 years. Hurry, hurry, Andy. Oh. Hurry. <clears throat> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Andy. Goodbye. That's nothing for a young fella like me. That's <laughs> uh, more fault off that bicycle. <laughs> Goodbye, Andy. Goodbye. Oh. Teacher, teacher. Teacher. Good morning, children. Good morning, good morning. Sorry I'm late, but by way of apology, we'll have the music lesson first. Ah! <laughs> what is it, Shirley? Please, teacher, what general was five letters and his name was buried in Gramps' What general with five letters and his name is buried in Gramps' too? C. Lee, that's the Jackson. So, uh, Hershey. Still hale and hearty. Uh... <laughs> Now, first, we'll take the roll call. Hiram Abbott. Joshua Finch. Tom and Henry Hemingway. Abram Stone. He stayed home. Somebody broke his saxophone. William, John, and Robert Blunt. Silas Paul. Gordon Cole. Raya Pratt. Daniel Moe. Baron Spree. Now for a little long exercise. Ah, 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 ah. Now hold that note until I tell you to stop. What is it, Nora? What is it? What's happened? Andy, 
At last, I found a way to make a perfect donut. What? Better even than the ones you have been making? Take one. How do you like it? Dora, there never was a donut like that. Of course there wasn't. But look, watch me duck it in the coffee. My goodness. Let me dunk one. on the radio, you'd make a fortune. Yes, but think about the cost and how about the actors? I never thought of that. Goodness, I forgot to stop him. You see, I left him at... You're going to be famous from coast to coast. Andy. <laughs> children. Children, children. We're all partners in Miss Dora's bakery. And I'll treat. Right. Please, we can have some donuts, Mr. Wilson. I sure do. Come on, come on in. Right. Come on. Cackleberry Farm program where hens are happy, Miss Gill will now render a foul song <laughs> as a chicken would sing it. Miss Gill. <laughs> hasn't showed up yet. What will I do? Well, keep her cackling till I see if I can locate you. <laughs> if she cackles another number, she'll lay a name. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Are you Mr. Wilson? Uh, sure, sure, that's me. This is my program. Well, hurry, hurry. You're on the air next. Hurry up. We're on next. No, we're on next. Now, come on, I'll stick together. Uh, Oh, hey, uh, the noise you hear, the uh, folks are being seated. Ah, uh, yeah, you'll uh, pardon the slight delay, folks. I had a flat tire at Knoxville. Oh, yes, Mr. Wilson had a flat tire at Knoxville, uh, but he didn't say who she was. <laughs> Introducing the new program, Mr. Andy Wilson and his dunkers. And, uh, just a moment, folks.
Uh, the noise you heard, folks, uh, wasn't a storm. It was Mr. Wilson arranging his music. Ha, ha, ha. Mr. Wilson, it's yours. Uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, this program is to introduce Dory's Dunking Donuts. They float. Remember the name, folks. They are baked by a little Dora herself. Are you listening, Dora? Yes, Andy. I'm listening. Uh, Dora's Dunking Donuts. Dora's Dunking Donuts. Dora's Dunking Donuts. They are the rage of the land. No cookie, cake, or candy could be as fine and dandy. As Dora's Dunking Donuts, you'll be nuts about her donuts. You'll dunk them in your coffee or any old drink. You'll dunk them day and dunk them night, and still they won't sink. Because Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, we'll have you know, they float. Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, they are the rage of the land. No cookie, cake, or candy. You'll dunk them in your coffee or any old drink. You'll dunk them day and dunk them night and still they won't sink. Because Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, we'll have you know they float. That was very well played. Very well played. Now, I want three boys to do a dance. program, ladies and gentlemen, is the best dancing act you have ever seen. Take me, boys. There's nothing, there's nothing to it. Mr. Wilson, I'm not giving the compliments, but you have a splendid act. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that because, you know, Miss Dora sunk her last dollar in this program. You have nothing to worry about whatsoever. Oh, thanks a lot. An awful lot. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Hello. Uh, uh, hello, hello, Miss Dora. Dora, this is Andy. Are uh, you listening to the program? Yes, Andy. It sounds splendid. The manager just told me what a great sensation. Take your hands off of me, you big scissor bill. No radio manager can tell me where to head in at. <laughs> Andy, Andy, what's wrong? No, no, there's nothing wrong. My things couldn't be better. We're a sensation. That's all there is to it. Uh, oh, my, oh, my, oh. give you the drama of Little Red Riding Hood, playing the three parts myself of the little girl, the grandmother, and the wolf. And the bear? And the bear. 
And the bear. Uh, there is no bear, ladies and gentlemen. Surely. Uh, uh, once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Ed riding her. Mr. Wilson! What is it? What? You put on the wool pants. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a little mistake. Uh, and there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She was going to visit her grandmother in the middle of the forest. <coughs> the trees were chirping to the bear. They, they chirped. They, uh, the grandmother was sound asleep in bed. There's a knock at the door and the grandmother wakes up. Grandmother wakes up, Shirley, will you please? Get away from here, will you please? Uh, naturally, the grandmother thinks it is Little Red Riding Hood, but it isn't. <laughs> Who is it? It's the great big hungry wolf. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Mind your business. Well, where's the wolf? Where? Who's got the wolf? The wolf! Wherever that woman is, there's always trouble. There certainly is. Quiet! Oh, get out, get out of here. here. Me, I'm going home. Listen, uh, we're in the middle of the program. Oh, I don't care. Come on, I'm not to my own. I'm trying to... 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 i am there's only a minute. That's enough. I've had enough of it. Get out there, Paul, don't you? Lady, that's the straw. Now, I put it down. Get out. Stand back, Paul. I said, get out. Get him, men. Get him. There is no help. Lady, I'm my leader. Look, story, don't you know? Let's stay flown. Care up, Andy. You did your best. Oh, sure, but I just wasted all Miss Dora's money for nothing. You know, Miss Dora, I had no idea the program was such a success till after I'd thrown Mr. Wilson out. Success? Why, we're simply swamped with orders. Oh, that's great. <laughs> but to make amends, I want to offer Mr. Wilson and your donut program free time for a month. Will you sign here, please, from the bottom line? I'm sorry. I'll see you on the air Friday at 2 o'clock. But you And I was a success? Why, that comedy battle you staged was a riot. Comedy battle? Yes. How did you ever come to think of it, Andy? It just happened. <laughs> 